Folks, if you're really gonna take back control of your skin, it is essential that you understand the concept that I'm gonna outline in this video. So please watch and listen carefully. And this is even more important for you if you've been trying different healing modalities and you feel like the results have been limited or not sustained. So you started them, you started to get results, and then you felt like you just fell off a cliff again. How many of these ideas have you heard or read about? All skin problems are gut related. Your skin got bad or better because of a hormonal shift, for example, menopause or puberty. Eczema is all about what you eat. Eczema has nothing to do with what you eat. Bad skin is a sign you're not detoxing properly. Bad skin is genetic, just like hair loss. What if I told you that all of these things were true? All of the cells, organs, and systems in our body are given an innate set of instructions to follow. Instructions that they don't need to be taught, it's literally built into their DNA. They will follow these instructions for as long as a state of ease exists in your body. So if a negative symptom of any kind arises, this is a sign that at least one thing in the body has become imbalanced or dysfunctional. So if you've got an unexplained skin problem, it's most probably much more than just one thing that is imbalanced or dysfunctional. This is why trying multiple different healing methods one by one has not given you the results that you're looking for. Chronic skin problems in 99% of cases are a result of chaos in the body. Multiple areas of dysfunction imbalance that have given rise to something called metabolic chaos. Skin problems can be associated with all seven of the systems that we see in this diagram. So we've got metabolic chaos in the middle, we've got neural tissue health, endocrine function, fat protein metabolism, detox capacity, eicosanoid modulation, carb metabolism, and musculoskeletal health. And all of these areas are associated with skin problems. And you might have noticed your own links between dysfunction in these areas and the skin problems showing up for you. So you've noticed your own links and other people will have noticed their own links and they'll be different because we each have different weak links in our bodies. And this is the key message to understand. This is the crux of the video. Dysfunction in these areas are both contributors to and the result of metabolic chaos. That's why these little arrows here go both ways, in and out of metabolic chaos. So this means that dysfunction in your body, it could have started in any one of these areas and then had a knock-on effect into other areas of the body. So for example, you may start out with some moderate stress, let's say in your adrenal system, HPA axis dysfunction, for example, and that might contribute into the metabolic chaos. This metabolic chaos then has a knock-on effect in causing you some problems with fat and protein metabolism and maybe some detox capacity and somewhere in this cascade of dysfunction, your skin problems and maybe some other symptoms start to show up. Another example might be that you have a history of musculoskeletal problems, perhaps due to an accident that you had years ago or maybe recently. And you've also noticed some blood sugar peaks and crashes due to either genetic or environmental problems. So food induced from eating a certain way for an extended period of time, that could have affected your carb metabolism. This has fed in to your state of metabolic chaos and it's had downstream effects of neural tissue health problems and endocrine dysfunction. So your skin problems appear and then maybe this leads into other symptoms like brain fog, fatigue, and the body takes on an autoimmune style characteristic. So you might even end up with an autoimmune disease diagnosis. So you might go to your doctor's office, hey, you have an autoimmune disease, this is your diagnosis, and you think, well, where did this come from? This is just, just my luck, this is just entirely random, but most of the time it's linked to these other areas of dysfunction in the body. And if you take the right action to correct the areas of dysfunction that started this whole cascade, you can reverse the condition. Folks, I really hope that you understand this concept. This is key to getting to grips with your health condition, whatever it is. It doesn't have to be a skin condition. This model works. This is the functional medicine model. And until I understood metabolic chaos, I didn't really understand what functional medicine really is and how it works. But doctors generally are not working in this way. They're, When's the last time you went to a doctor's office and they ran a full body investigation on you? They just don't work that way. They don't have the time or the resources to give you all of that. And so that's where we as functional health practitioners come in. This is why we run multiple lab tests on our clients to look at multiple areas. We wanna look at all seven of these areas on the metabolic health chart. We wanna know 
where you have dysfunction and imbalance in all of these areas because we don't know what came first. We don't know if your carb metabolism was the first to go. We don't know if it was stress induced that gave you some HPA axis dysfunction that then led in to metabolic chaos resulting in brain fog. Maybe the brain fog stuff came first. Maybe you have a natural genetic weak link for anxiety and that has fed in to the metabolic chaos and has given rise to your symptoms that you're experiencing. Symptoms are not predictable. And this is the biggest mistake that we tend to make as we're doing our online research and doctors even make this mistake as well. We try to spot patterns, but <laughs> symptoms can be so far removed from this underlying condition. So if you've been hunting for a root cause, if you've been reading things like, you know, skin health is all about the gut, get your gut back in track. Gut is part of this jigsaw, but it's only one part of it. You need to look at all areas. You need to look at many areas as you can of underlying dysfunction and imbalance. And as you just start to go around this diagram and start to make little adjustments, it's marginal gains that really gets you to a place of health. So if you feel like you've exhausted all the ideas you currently have available to you, it's time that you dived in to do an investigation like this. Get in touch with us, book a free exploratory call. There is a link below for you to do that. We can discuss your case and find out if perhaps you've got some untapped potential there. You can find out some healing opportunities that have yet been undiscovered. You're leaving stuff on the table if you don't know about all of these different healing opportunities that lie underneath. I certainly was doing that. I was a health coach for a number of years before I found out about this stuff. And my own health, my own personal health, revolutionized as well when, once I started to figure out this stuff that was going on underneath. You know, athletes, I'm quite into cycling and, and other athletic stuff. And, you know, it even improved my performance in those areas as well because of what I was able to find out about healing opportunities, opportunities for improvement. They are there and this is the process of investigation that helps you find that stuff out. Link below if you want to book a free call and discuss your case with us.